I will say that that is not how I felt about Halloween Havoc. Oh, yeah. Horrible. I just feel so sad watching this show because I'm like, man, you know, at so, at one point, NXT and, and AEW for me were kind of like neck and neck. Like every other week, it's just like whatever show was better. I was like, ah, oh, that's my favorite. And then it would go back. It's like, ah, oh, maybe AEW is my favorite. But it was like they were like neck and neck. And now I'm just like, tr- I'm like <clears throat> trying to brainstorm like, gosh, what else could John and I review so we don't have to watch this show anymore? But I can't think of anything that fits our schedule. So I mean, it's w- it's still fascinating to watch because it's just it's a total 180, you know, and and we we're tr- I'm curious to see if anyone can break through uh, of yeah. a new talent. So that's I, I, mean, I was pretty me. hopeful on this show that at least one would, but didn't mm-hmm. happen. Um. I have one like I, I, I teeter tottered on the main event segment because there was some stuff that I liked in that match, and Ch- you know Champa's he, he's 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 doing you know God's work in there with with the with the young oh. the young uh, tiger, um, but at the end I just felt because of the way that they booked this whole thing that the result wouldn't allow me to put this in the, in the likes. So I literally have one thing in the likes, which is the tag team match with MSK and Imperium. Hmm. I liked, I liked, well, I, I liked that match too. It's part of it more towards the finish than the, the first part of it. Um, but the, I like Tomas Ciampa and Braun Breaker. I wish Ciampa would have went heel though. And cheated and, you know, screwed Breaker out of the belt because he obsessed with that title. Um, I don't know if I, I don't, I didn't really like him. I know he beat him with everything in the kitchen sink. Right. But I don't know. I, I, I was, maybe I was just hoping for a heel turn here for Ciampa. Cause I kind of like the, the old, the old guard still holding on and he's not, he's the old guard. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's, you know what I wanted to see? I wanted to see Hulk Hogan in the iron sheik in this match. <laughs> I wanted to see <laughs> not on this Bron- show. Fuck, I, we need I wanted, a decent match. I wanted no. I wanted to see Braun Breaker be so damn impressive that I'm like, okay, here is my hook to watch this show. I am watching an unbeatable, not, maybe not unbeatable, but a babyface who is going to win all these matches. Who is going to be the guy who is going to stand above everybody else. And show me NXT that we have a guy instead of that we just have a bunch of vultures, which is what the show feels like to me. It's like, oh, we just have a bunch of vultures circling. I wanted to see Braun Breaker win this title. And then I wanted to see him go to the main roster wearing the NXT title. Well, and, that didn't, that didn't work out for a carrying cross. <laughs> well, and, no, no, but challenge the top guys oh. and go, you know, I, I, if I, if you know, Hogan and Warrior, right? It was Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, yeah. But if Warrior won the world title, he wasn't going to keep the Intercontinental title. So if Braun Breaker wins the world title, then the, the NXT title just goes into a tournament. Like, that's, that's what I want to see for them to get behind somebody because it's been a long time that we just get behind like a younger person, like even you know, like even even the great things that they've done this year with um, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, now Big E. All those dudes are in their mid thirties or older. Like Bobby Lashley's like as old as us. Mm-hmm. I mean, he looks looks amazing, but he, yeah. you know, it's like let's get behind. Like you you've been telling me like everything this whole these last three weeks in this show has been like. It, it, Braun Breaker's coming like this is coming and I got excited because I wanted to see the crowning of the guy and then he got pinned yeah yeah I I, I, I don't mind him being pinned but I was hoping for a heel turn that's why that's because I think just you know unloading everything on Chompa uh, by Chompa on a breaker I don't know ah, I guess you can say it protects him you know but I don't know I would I kind of would go with he with Chompa I, so so here's a question. Now, my guess is that there's going to be a rematch, mm-hmm. and in that rematch, Braun Breaker will will win the title. And and you know, there's he's got a story now. You know, he's not the he's not the guy who just comes out of college and you know off the NFL gridiron and just can come in and beat everybody. He loses to the savvy vet, the great vet. That though. Vic, you know what Vic called him at the end of this match? Hmm. The gatekeeper. He called the world champion of NXT 
the gatekeeper. I got so mad when I heard that. I was like, why? <laughs> like, uh, um, so, but you know, here's my question for you is now that he's lost and he's kind of down a slight peg, can't, is he, can we create a story? Do you believe that these WWE writers can create a story where we have a little bit of sympathy for the puppy face gremlin and we want to see him win the next time even more than we wanted to see him win on Tuesday? No, that's my I, worry. I have no faith in who's writing it. Who's not, who's writing it now. Well, who is final saying it now? I have mm -hmm. no faith in them. If it was Triple H, Shawn Michaels, that crew, who are putting stuff together. I don't know about Triple H, but you know what I mean. Um, I, it's the final say. It's the the rewrites. It's the that kind of. Those are the people I don't trust. So, no, I don't. Unfortunately, and I, I think Braun Breaker's gonna show up in Royal Rumble anyway. So. And so I, think he's I mean, well. so so may, do, I mean, does he win the belt? I hope so. I, I I would hope. I hope he's there for another year, personally. But I could see them putting him on the Rumble, and I could see him being the main roster by after WrestleMania at the, at the soonest. So.